Morning everybody, welcome to Tenerife. It is Sunday morning with me, Webby Sports Roundup, here in sunny Tenerife in my little manor. Today it's a brand new feature. Started last week, we're going for the second one today. Young, young man, Mark Wiltshire, massive Chelsea fan, massive cricket fan. He is the busy, he's from back in Cheltenham, loves his Chelsea, and he's doing my 15 questions. They are superb. Stay to the end, he knows his stuff. Mark, what I'm going to say, big man, Take it away for Webby. Morning, it's Mark Wiltshire from Cheltenham on a beautiful sunny day. It could be Tenerife. Uh, Webby from Webby Sports Roundup in Tenerife has asked me if I'll do my 15 questions on my favourite club, which is Chelsea. I've been going for 54 years, 56 years now. 1968, 14th of December was my first game. Wolves at home. Uh, one all draw. Peter Osgood equalised with a last minute penalty, uh, having missed a penalty in the first half. Couldn't watch another penalty for 40 years. Just couldn't watch it. Every time, we, every time I did, we missed. Champions League final, 2012. Didn't watch any of the penalties. Turned away. Couldn't watch them. Could, just couldn't do it. And to this day, if it comes on, I, I look away. It's done me in. It's, it's, I can't watch them. First question then. Favourite current player? Um, Conor Gallagher. Really good. Really excellent player. Uh, come through the youth setup, um, a bit hit and miss, a bit headstrong at times, but I think I'd have to go for Cole Palmer. Uh, he's a massive price tag of £42 million when he came in. Um, thought we were grossly overpaid, grossly overpaid, but in fairness, he's come in and he, he's, he's been superb. Um, he's gone missing a few times, but he is very, very young, isn't he? You know, and to be a top goal scorer, nearly outdo Haaland you know, in his first season, fair play to the boy. He's done really, really well, kept us together. All-time current player, current uh, all-time favourite player. Oh dear, this is a difficult one. We've had so many players, haven't we? Marcel Desailly came in, superb. Rude Hullet, Rude Hullet was just a different class, absolutely different class. Changed the way we played football. He was superb, he really was. But I think I've got to go back to the sixties. The, the, the first centre forward we had when I played, Peter Osgood. He was just, oh, he was the dogs. He really was. He was, he, he was so silky. Left foot, right foot, headed it. A bit headstrong at times, you know. He had a few, uh, few issues, disciplinary issues, but he, he was superb. He really was. He, uh, he left to go to Southampton, which was a really, really sad time. Um, it was the demise of us in the early 70s. Came back late 70s and he, he just wasn't the same player. Well, but he was just brilliant. He really, really was. Sadly, he died in 2004, the year before we won the league, for the first time since 55. It's a great shame he didn't get to see it, but no, he was just, yeah, he is the king of Stamford Bridge and always will be. Best signing your club has ever made? Well, we've made a few of those as well, haven't we? Joan Franco Zola, what a player. Absolute genius on the ball. You, everyone said when he came to England, he wouldn't be able to play. He's too small, but he was he was a genius, yeah. The, still get the vision of him turning Jamie Carragher inside out and putting him on his backside about three times in one move. You know, he's just an absolutely wonderful player, wonderful. But I'd have to go with Frank Lampard, I think. When, when Frank came from West Ham in 2001, everyone said £11 million, you know, you've overpaid, the, the boy's un, un, untested, he can't do this, he can't do that, he's fat, he's this, he's that. Fair play to the boy, he really did, he really did work at his game. You know, Every season, 20 goals a year. You know, people compare him to Gerard. I don't think there's any comparison. I don't think there's any comparison between between the pair of them. I've got a I, yeah, Frank Lampard by a country mark. Top goal, top goal scorer for us. Overtook Tamblin's record of two hundred and two goals. Superb midfield player. Wonderful. That was superb. Worth signing. Ah, easy. We've made a few. We've made a few. Mark Falco came to us in eighty two, eighty three season when we were mid table, mid to low table in the second division. Oh. Come on loan from Tottenham. Well, he only lasted three games. We sent him back. He was that bad. But it's got to go to Winston Bogard. Winston Bogard. We got him for two, two and a half million pounds from Barcelona. He played one game. He was absolutely pants. He never played another game for us in his three years. He refused to play for the reserves. Wouldn't do anything at all. He commuted from Holland every day. Came into training and then went back home again. No one ever saw him. Absolute waste of money. I don't know what people saw in him. I don't know what people saw. But that, that's him, yeah. Best game you've been to. Um, take out all the FA Cup games, the wins, the Champions League, World Club Championship. Take all those out. 
it's kind of down to three, but there's, there's a top one. Uh, Bolton away, 82-83 season. If we hadn't gone to Bolton and beaten them, we would have been relegated. Um, that was a massive game for us. 4,500 went up there. We, we had a great day. and Clive Walker scored late late goal and we, and we stayed up. Okay, Middlesbrough last game of the season. Dulles Dishwater won nil nil draw. They came for a draw because they could have got relegated. And we just basically passed each other for 90 minutes. A terrible game. But we both stayed up. The following season, we made six or seven signings. Changed the game completely. Um... Going into the last game of the season, Sheffield Wednesday were top. We were we were two points behind. We had to we had to win. They had to draw, and we'd have been champions. We went there, Grimsby. We had about twelve thousand up there. It's an amazing day. Yeah, sun sunshine, brilliant day. Everyone went to Skegness afterwards. One one nil, won the second division championship. But I think the best day I've ever had would be the first game in the eighty four eighty five season away at Arsenal. Eleven thirty kick off. All did, didn't make it all ticket. The, 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 the away, away terrace was, was shut at 10.30. Uh, there were thousands and thousands there. You know, we, we had the whole of the clock end, half the east end. They were in the, in the north bank. We were everywhere that day. We were everywhere. They said the crowd was, was 45,000. No, it was, it, was, it was near 55. It was, it was people climbing the walls to get in. It was, it was incredible. One all draw. Mariner scored for Arsenal. Dixon equalised later. We were lucky to get a, a one all draw that day. But uh, what a day. That was just a, a wonderful day. Yeah. Best away ground I've ever been to. I've, I've been to a lot. I've done, I've done over 100 games in Europe with Chelsea. What used to watch England back in the early 80s. Um, I think the best ground I've been to, I think, is going to be the Allianz Arena. I think I'll go for that. Um, we went there in the uh, 2012 Champions League final. Yeah, it was lovely. Clean, easy to get to, the six, good seats. Yeah, it, it was... Lovely ground, lovely ground. Best atmosphere? I hate to say it, one of the best I've been in, it was uh, Anfield, 2005 Champions League. I've been there in the league and it's been, yeah, it's been, been yeah, it's been, been average. But that night, they, they made some noise that night. When they talk about Champions League nights at Anfield, Jesus, that was a hell of a noise, they really did. But the best atmosphere I've ever been in was, was in Galatasaray in 99. We won 5 nil. They uh, only twenty two thousand in the ground, no stands, all open, all open. The noise they made was unbearable. You couldn't hear yourself think. It was incredible. The noise. It was just oh, deafening, deafening noise. It was probably the nearest I've been to intimidated. It really was. Yeah, it, it was quite horrible, but you know, it was okay. Five nil win. We come away with it. Yeah. Club you dislike the most. When you're growing up in the 60s, 70s, into the 80s as a teenager, you hated everyone. You know, football was a different game them days. Don't, don't. Um, you hate everyone. Now, I don't really, I don't really hate anyone. I don't really dislike. I suppose if if I've got a dislike for anyone, it's got to be Liverpool. I suppose only because the media love them. You know, anything they do is wonderful. You can't say anything bad about them. They're, they're just wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, the media, media darlings, aren't they? I don't. Yeah, but it's them. If I could have, do I have a f current favourite current second team? Second team. I've got a soft spot for Brentford. I, I was born, I lived near Hounslow. Uh, my first ever game of football I went to was Hounslow, uh, was Brentford versus QPR in a pre-season te testimonial match. Um, later, my uncle, Uncle Charlie, who I went to football with, was very friendly with Frank Bluntstone, who was a Brentford manager. He used to get us tickets. Um, so yeah, I quite, quite like Brentford, but really interesting. The, the result I look for on a Saturday afternoon, it's Hendon. We lived opposite the ground when we moved up to Hendon. <clears throat> um, we used to go there if Chelsea were away when I was, you know, early teens, uh, too far north. We, we'd go there if they were at home. They played a lot of matches, home matches on a Friday night. I went there. Yeah, great times, great times. Sadly, the ground got sold. For, they got ripped off by a chairman and they moved up to Harrow and they've been a bit homeless since. But But yeah. That's, that's the result I look for. And I, I'll still go now when I can. Sadly, they've just moved into the, back into the Eastman League, which is really good for them, uh, but not so good for me watching them down in Cheltenham. So, yeah, but, but that's the one I look for most, yeah. Fans you dislike this like the most. Oh, this one's easy. This one's easy. It's two. West Ham, don't, don't, yeah. 
horrible. I've been down there so many times. Horrible. I don't just don't like them. Don't like them. And Tottenham. Tottenham's really for the, for the club more than the fans, I suppose. But I just yeah, I don't. I just like the fans as well. Yeah. Uh, they relegated us in seventy five. They beat us in the cup final in sixty seven. We got to the quarterfinals of the cup in in our bad year in eighty two, and they beat us three two. Um, and I had an uncle who supported Tottenham. He had a, he had a, a news agent shop in Kilburn in London, and he was horrible. He was horrible to me. Yeah, and it just it just stuck with me, and I've just hated him ever since. Yeah, it's, it's it's them too. What player would you like to sign if you could sign anybody? Um, modern player, I think I'd have to go for Harry Kane. I get crucified by your supporters for saying it, but. I think Harry Kane, purely because we need a goal scorer. Jackson's all right. He's he's, he's learning, but he's, he's not there yet. We need we need a goal scorer, and Harry Kane scores goals for fun, doesn't he? So yeah, I'll go Harry Kane. What manager would you like? I think Mourinho. The first time we had Mourinho was was brilliant. I'd go with Mourinho, but I think all round Ancelotti. Ancelotti is just just he's just he's wonderful. The football we played under him when we won the done the double in two thousand and ten. It was actually the best football I think I've ever seen at Chelsea. Entertaining. We scored eight goals three times that year. Over 100 goals. Yeah, Ancelotti. What player will I sign? It's Kane. What manager would you like to have you? I've done that one. In their prime, Messi or Ronaldo. That's got to be Ronaldo. Left foot, right foot. Tackles, penalties, headers. Played in the hard Premier League, hard Spanish League. Messi's just stayed in Spain and gone to an easy game there. Yeah, for me. It's all about opinions, but that's just my opinion. Um, last last three, Maguire in your team. You were like, no, we're not having Maguire. We don't need any defenders. And I, don't, I don't think he's that, he's, that, he's that good. No. Gareth Southgate, definitely not. No, not for me. No, yes, man. Do you watch women's football? Not really. But I do watch Chelsea ladies sometimes if there's nothing else to do. Um, it's not the same game, is it? It's the, the passion isn't there. The uh, the physicality isn't there. Um, but, yeah, it's, if it's your thing, it's your thing, isn't it? Anyway, that's for 15 questions. Thanks, Willby, for asking me. If you like what you see, you like what you hear, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and let's get Webby to 4,000 subscribers. Thanks very much. Bye. Macca, superb mom, mate. Absolutely fantastic. You know your stuff. Chelsea through and through. Listen, as, it, as Mark just says, that uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Webby Sports Radio, here in sunny Tenerife, in my little manner, subscribe is free, hit the like button, and notifications coming up very, very soon. Lots of things happening with the Euros. If you fancy it, get a bit of, bit of this and a bit of TV coverage, and you have a go, you want to have a go, get on it. Don't forget, send me an email, webpool36 at gmail.com, and you could be next on TV. So what I'm going to say, Mark, cheers, big man, and there's more to come this week, some real funny ones. Take care from Webby Sports Roundup. In my little manor, with me new cap on, it's sunny Tenerife. Look at the background. It's fantastic. You wish you were here.